everyone. Today I want to talk about Memoria Press for kindergarten, their math program, which is Rod and Staff. Now, um, a lot of people ask questions about Rod and Staff because it's very plain, very straightforward, very plain, and it doesn't have a whole lot of manipulatives or games or anything like that. But take it for someone who has been there and done that, that's not all it's cracked up to be. Before doing Memor Memoria Press, I did the Kumon Math Books. We did the Good and the Beautiful. And it was chaotic and it was not well thought out and it didn't work, especially for my student. My little girl, she needs repetition. She needs mastery. She needs to keep going over it and over and over and over it, giving her day after day after day of practice work. And this has been absolutely perfect. Memoria Press put out an article about why they chose Rod and Staff Math, and I would suggest you read that article because it completely changed my mindset about using the math. After I, after I read that article, I was completely sold, and I immediately bought the whole package curriculum. So, Memoria Press sets up for you each week how to do the math. Here's your math portion. You have, which is the Rod and Staff book, you have an enrichment, and then you have numbers books, and then you have the Rod and Staff uh, sheets, worksheets. And every day, it tells you what to do, what to pull, what to go over. So, for us, I have each day marked, and my student does their work. Now, what I love is it starts out real simple, guys. Starts out real simple, going from zero to 10 before it introduces addition. So here's your first addition, and it introduces it as families. And you go over that for a few days, not, not a day, but a few days, and you really perfect it until you move on to the next thing. And each week, each day, they give you um, practice, just going over it, making sure your child masters it and really goes over it. And, um, of course, this comes with a teacher's book. But once you do the first couple of lessons, you kind of get the hang of it and you kind of get your own groove of what you want your child to do and how you want to teach it. And you just, um, just do it that way. And so... Um, so, and it gives you like board work ideas. If you see some of the things are blank, it's because um, we do it on the board and we have board time. So Memoria Press uses this just about every other day you do this. And if you're not doing this, then you're doing one of the Memoria Press number books. My little girl loves these books. Um, they have activities in them, dot to dot, color, um, just some different things um, that are just kind of um, math related, pattern working, that just spices it up where it's just different. It's um, where they can do different, you know, work out it different ways. Looks like some of these we skipped. So we're still, we're just now on the number two book. We're, uh, we are 20 weeks in and um, doing good. I love it. Love, love, love it. So also you get Memoria, uh, you get the Rod and Staff work, big box of worksheets. And then Memoria Press has scheduled these out. So what I've done is um, I just went through the entire year and pulled out all of the worksheets that we would need, placed them in a bin so I can grab them. And so some of them are like true work and some of them are fun work, like the dot to dot and coloring. 
and my little girl loves the dot to dot. She doesn't necessarily love all of these sheets, but she loves the dot to dot, so she likes to see when that comes out. So these are the worksheets that um, that we will pull that's in the manual that tell me when to pull and what sheet. It will tell me what lesson, and then it will ship, tell me what this page is about and what number it is. The answers to all of these are in the back of the teacher's book that you get. So it's real easy to check. Also, they give you cards, flashcards. They give you addition and subtraction. And so what I do is whatever family that we are, that we have learned, and then what we are learning at the current time, I put in here. And we go through these every time. Like, before you do a phonics lesson, you go through your sight words. Before we do a math lesson, we go through our math flashcards. And it's very easy. And because we've done them from the beginning, it takes no time. She goes right through them really quickly. She can just about speed do this because we've done them so much. And they're very easy to do because we've just, we just keep doing them. And um, just adding on top of what we already know. And so she doesn't get scared about it because they're very familiar to her and the repetition is really great for her. So if you are on the fence about a math program for your kindergartner, and especially if you're trying to decide about Memoria Press, I would highly, highly, highly suggest this. I have been pleased. I am 20 weeks in. I am more on the end side of the curriculum because it's a 34 week curriculum and you finish the math 33 weeks in. I am teetotally sold on Ron and Staff math. It has been awesome. My daughter does not need to be taught something and then moved on. She needs the repetition. She needs the mastery work. And who and with math, you have to master it. You just you have to. You have to know what these numbers um, add up to or subtract to quickly and um, instead of counting on your fingers, you know. So I, I really love that and I love that every week it is spelled out for me. Here we are week 12. You can see I've highlighted and I know I've color coordinated everything. Um, so uh, let's see, let me switch to the math recitation and show you that out of the manual. If I can find it. Maybe this is it. Oh, that's presentation. No, well, I can't find it. I did have it marked. Um, we stopped doing the math recitation. It just wasn't. Um, it just. I don't. I don't know. I didn't see the need in it. I'd rather focus on like the real recitation than, well, I can't find it right now, but, um, but anyway, so I think this is an amazing program. I would not change a thing. I love it. Um, my kid is doing amazing on it. This is probably one of her favorite subjects that she does. And because she is so used to doing the, the work, I can pretty much put this in front of her and she knows exactly what to do. And she can do it without me helping, without my guidance. And for homeschool mamas, that's pretty much golden. That is something that we all strive and that we all want for our children is to be able to put something in front of them, especially at the kindergarten age and for them to just do it and let you copy and let you go back and grade it and go over it with them. Um, so, <clears throat> I love this. I couldn't say anything more positive about it. Um, it's amazing. And um, if you are trying to decide on this, do it. You won't regret it. Especially if your child needs that mastery. Um, it's amazing. So, alrighty. Thank you, guys.